guess this will be my thumbnail image. Ooh, or better yet, wait, what if my thumbnail image is like, hang on. <laughs> That'd be funny. Hold on. Actually, I was going to start the video, but let me take that picture because that would be so funny. Ciao lovelies, it's Lenaria here, and today I'm going to be doing something that I think might get me banned from um, a lot of the Monster High fandom because I'm doing something I didn't think I was going to do. But I've decided that I am done collecting fashion doll scale and I'm only going to keep a few of the ones that I have. Um, but one of the ones that I have happens to be the reproduction Draculaura and Draculaura was one of the first dolls I ever got from Monster High in my life. Um, and so I debated whether or not I wanted to unbox her. I debated whether or not I wanted to like have her out, but I think out of all my fashion dolls, the ones I'm probably going to keep are probably going to be her and the new generation Frankie. So it's time to unbox because obviously if I have two dolls left in my collection, I'm not letting them out of their boxes. Like, I mean, I have to let them out of their boxes. Like, they'd be bored, you know? <laughs> also, um, not sure how much of my collection you guys know, but I do have an inbox window in a spider, the I Heart Fashion one. Um, I will not unbox her. So, like, don't. <laughs> if you guys knew about that one and were getting nervous, don't. I'm keeping that one. I'm not unboxing that one. That one, like, pros. Pro pro I want to say prosperity. What is the word I actually want? It's a uh, posterity. That's what I want. Okay, so I'm also like hella multitasking. So give me like, straight up give me one second. I'm going to do a thing. And that thing is that I'm going to, um, oh, I guess I can't use that. Oh, shoot. Never mind. It's fine. I'm hella multitasking. I'm trying to like edit videos at the moment. So. I'm a goblin, you guys know this. Alright, let's get into this. So, I wanted to make a video while unboxing her for posterity's sake. So, this is the reproduction Draculaura. Um, the top of her box says, ready to sink my fangs into some drama. Draculaura is so cute. I... <laughs> the new version of Draculaura is adorable too, BT dubs, and I really like her, but, um, so. Uh, includes her doll stand in her diary and daughter of Dracula. Here's the back. It has all her monster facts. So she is age 1,599 because she hits her sweet 1,600 while she's in school. Um, Count Fabulous is her pet, which is adorable. She's a vegetarian. She does not like blood, <laughs> which honestly is pretty, plays for some pretty fun moments in the show. So. I'm going to very carefully open this and slide out the doll and it's under packaging because I'm trying to save this box in particular. So you're about to watch me be as careful as I physically can be with a box, with a, with a cardboard box. Because <laughs> I really would like this to be smooth. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> I've only ripped it a little bit and it's not noticeable. So sliding out that. And then of course, we get to save the box, so that's always good. Put that down there. Here is our stuff. So, she comes with her stand, her diary, which the diaries were the thing back in the day. Like, I remember being like, super happy to read all of the lore. Cause you read through their diaries and they have like, lore. Like, they explain stuff about themselves, they have little stories that go through in their lore. It's, it's interesting. It's really interesting. Um, also, I forgot that, like, I forgot that Draculaura, there's like a weird subplot with Draculaura and Jackson for a bit, uh, like Jackson and Holt, but uh, yeah. Here's the Skelet hair comb that was like the thing too. I'm gonna let out Count Fabulous. Also, there is a TikTok that I keep seeing and I've gotta find it. Um, and it's, someone took the old Count Fabulous and the new Count Fabulous and gave them, like, different voice lines of the old Count Fabulous. They did, like, the, uh, they did, like, the, 
he, the you don't want to marry me, here's why audio, and it was very funny. So there's Count Fabulous, the OG. Let's get out this doll stand very carefully. So the doll stand is held in by a couple of rubber bands. And it's a base, and it's the, the base, and then there's the stand itself. And then there's the part that holds the doll. So it's like a adjustable stand, kind of, in the sense that if your dolls are tall or short or whatever, um, and it has Monster High branding on it, because, you know, they gotta be doing that. Also, she comes with her parasol. Uh, Jackie Laura is a big reason as to why I was super into like elegant gothic Lolita fashion as a teenager, because oof, she had her little parasol, and I was like, ooh, I could carry a parasol every day in what fashion? And that's, you know. So here's, yeah, here's her little parasol, super cute. She has a little skull up top, a little heart buckle, a little bat at the bottom, very adorable. All right, now to carefully get her out of the box. So this is gonna be the concerning part of this. Also, all of her accessories, I can't quite understand why or place it, but they feel kind of weird. They have like a weird powdery feeling, like dust. Maybe it's because they've been in a box for so long. Because like I said, she's a reproduction, so she's not like an original one that's been in the box. She's literally just the the re the re-release that they put out, um, oh shoot, I think this was last year, maybe two years ago now, before the, the reboot of Monster High, again, the second reboot, <laughs> before the second reboot. Although I will say, and maybe I'm just weird for this, but I do wish they had given us some of the dolls that they had planned for the first reboot, because some of their planned dolls for the first reboot were so cute, and I really wanted to like see them. Um, there's like a tea party set that they made, like a little sleepover ghouls one, where they're all in like their like onesies that are based on their pets. Like it was really adorable. I'm sad that they didn't go through with it. <laughs> it would have been a great seller, that's for sure. Um, I think both of those those sets would have also, hold on, I'm trying to free her from her electric, not electric, elastic bands. Be free, yawn child. Oh no, you're still hooked up to the box. Oh my gosh, my stomach is making noises and I don't know that. Alright, cut this one, cut that one, and then I'll have to see if I can push them against her scalp or pull them out further. Um, probably could find some, put some uh, uh, pliers, that's the word. I kept saying wrench in my head and I was like, that is not the word. All right, so as for Jaculora, let's look, let's take a closer look at Jaculora. So first and foremost, her hair is in her little pigtails, of course. Her face paint is like her original design, so it's darker, she has more pronounced like lines around the eyes, her lipstick is darker, her cute little fangs, she's got her little heart uh, birthmark. She also has her little safety pin earrings. Her outfit is super detailed as well. She has this little this little necklace, a little frill on her on her blouse. She has fishnet sleeves with little lace ends. Her vest is a different fabric and has metallic stitching. There's also these little buttons. Um, she has a little white pleated skirt, like a mini skirt, with a tool underneath. She's wearing fishnet stockings under that, that are like capri stockings. And then she has her knee-high, almost knee-high boots. Her iconic knee-high boots. <laughs> And then I didn't show you guys a close-up on Count Fabulous, so let me do that too. So here's Count Fabulous out of the box. If you had never seen the original dolls in any format and you first saw Count Fabulous, then uh, yeah, wild. <laughs> but if this is not your first time seeing Count Fabulous, then you're, you're like, hello, old friend, <laughs> like I feel right now. Let me put uh, Dracula on her stand real quick because I want to compare her a bit to the new dolls because I have Frankie with me, so I can compare her to the new Frankie. Although the new Frankie is like one of the tallest of all the new dolls. I think she is the tall. Or I think they are the new, the tallest of all the new dolls. So 
<sighs> I'm going to check because I'm pretty sure that the Frankie is the tallest. Um, I, I think they're the tallest character canonically right now, but I'm not sure if maybe like... I'm not sure if any of the other characters are taller than them. I think they might be the tallest. Um, and I'm not sure if that's represented in the dolls, because remember, Draculaura was the shortest in the original uh, Monster High, but her doll was the same height as everybody. So, uh, also, Frankie's not wearing her original outfit, uh, so there's gonna be a little bit of difficulty comparing like certain aspects of this, but we can see that the makeup has changed that they have softer hues, they have gentle blush on the cheeks, they have like slightly more big eyes with like slightly less, um, I'd say slightly less dark details, like they have more highlights than they do shadows in the eyes. Um, but they still have the strong brows, they just have updated them to what's in fashion now. Um, the faces are still relatively like rectangular with good jaw lines, which is pretty cool because that's something I liked about the series as when I was younger. Um, and as for the bodies, the bodies are a little different. Um, the hands in particular are not as small and as delicate, so that's kind of a plus, honestly. Especially for someone who does photography and you don't want to like have to fight with your doll all the time to pose it. So, not bad actually, not bad. All right, so that is it for today. I just wanted to unbox my Draculaura and I wanted to film it for posterity's sake. And now I can finally take pictures of her and Frankie and I'm so happy about it. So sorry, that was my dork moment for the day. So, <laughs> all right. Um, thank you lovely so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like or comment below something that you liked about it or a question or a suggestion for another video. I love to hear from you guys. So leave it in the comments and I will be there to look. Um, so now, cause that's really all the self promo I have today. Um, there's not really any other big updates anywhere else in the OFT sphere as of filming this. Um, if, if other things pop up, I guess I'll add like a clip here and there later, Luna. But as of right now, as of filming this, no updates other than that. So now I can get to the important part of the video where I get to tell you lovelies to stay awesome and remember to love yourselves. And really remember that you are a unique and wonderful vision in this entire world of illusion and that you get to control your perception of yourself and that it's ever evolving. So don't feel bad if currently you don't know who you are or don't feel bad if currently you're not sure what your aesthetic is or you're not sure what you wanna look like or what you wanna be or what you wanna do. The, these things are always changing. So don't feel pressured to fall into something for the rest of your life. And don't feel pressured that you have to be a certain way either. Cause you can change whatever you wanna change. Your story is written by you. So, all that being said, thank you lovely so much for watching. Please remember to stay awesome, remember to stay awesome and love yourself. And I will see you in the next uh, video, post, or whatever comes next. So, bye lovelies.